Triple M, this is Homegrown, and from the early 80s, the band that came on to be Ice House. They were known then as Flowers, that's Can't Help Myself. Yeah, I, Iva Davies from Ice House was uh, a very great big supporter of Deaf Effects, my old band in yeah. our early days. He, we were actually on a competition, it was, uh, what was it, MTV and Yamaha's Music Rock Awards, and it was a tele televised show, yeah. and he was one of the judges and gave us a thumbs up, and through our career a couple of times, he sent us faxes just offering a bit of congratulations and support, and kept those faxes, so thanks, Iva, you're a legend. Sensational. Mm. You got homegrown tonight on Triple M, Fiona Horn and Jason Staveley, joined on the phone by Susie DeMarkey. How are you doing tonight? I'm very well. Welcome Great, to uh, Triple M's Homegrown. Thank you. 1998 was an interesting year for you. You uh, released a, a monster hit in, uh, in Satellite. Oh, yeah, Monster, yeah. Well, it's... Couldn't uh, contain it. <laughs> it may not be so uh, big on the charts, but uh, as far as the Triple M audience is concerned... Yeah, as far oh, as the Triple M listeners go, just very, can't... very big song Yeah, Triple them. M actually have been probably, you know, the most supportive. And um, I do believe, actually, because I've spent quite a bit of time in Perth, and Perth's just been useless, let me tell you. <laughs> the radio in Perth is useless. And I hope they well, hear that. Well, that's because there's no Triple M over there. There's no Triple M, but there's just no nothing. It's just weak. They need to sort it out. But no, but everyone tells me they've been hearing it a bit on, on Triple M over, over you know, in the Eastern States. So that's really great. Now tell me, wh what have you been doing? You know, you just kind of reappeared all of a sudden and, uh, <laughs> and, and satellite. How, how's the last 12 months been for you, like breaking back into uh, the uh, Australian music scene? Oh, well, it's just all been a bit of... Um, because I've been living overseas and I haven't really sort of done much at all in Australia, but I've been working sort of hammering away at, at this record for the last few years, basically. And I took a bit of time off when we had a baby and that really totally, you know, I mean, she's just... She's exhausting. I was, I was going to ask you about that, actually. How do you yeah. cope with being a mum and oh. making a rock album? I mean, oh. bloody hell. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's, she's actually, she's pretty cool. I mean, she's a, she's, really, she's a smart girl, you know, and she, she's kind of, she, she's good at entertaining herself and she really doesn't know anything else but what we've, what she's been surrounded with. So she's pretty tolerant of what we do and she travels really well, which is, well, that's a important. Bonus. No. Have you been doing many gigs overseas? No, no, I haven't really done any. Mm -hmm. No, I've just been recording, doing and writing, lots of recording and, and demoing and writing. Yep. And um, yeah, just it's been um, the last year's been actually a lot of fun because I've been twiddling my thumbs a little bit. As much as you know, there's been a lot of work done. There's been a bit of twiddling of the thumbs. Would you say that? Um, you know, a lot of women, when they have babies, they go, oh, it's the most rewarding thing I've ever yeah. done. Would you yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah, <laughs> oh, it, yeah, I think you do, because it's just the best thing you'll ever... I really think that it's the most amazing thing you'll ever do. I mean, it's, you know, it's, you can't you've compare been it to in, making a record. Yeah, I was going to say, given, no. you know, the success of baby animals, I mean, you were, you were absolutely massive and, and still are in, in many ways. Baby animals is oh. hu a hugely popular group still. And it's um, mm. given that you've achieved that kind of artistic... You yeah. know, uh, well, achievement. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and now you've got a child. That, yeah. I mean, would you say, oh. could you have done without the baby animals now that you've got a baby <laughs> yourself? Um, a baby oh. human? <laughs> well, well, the baby animals, well, see, you know, that had elements of, of um, look, when you're on the, you know, when you're on the road with a band and you're on the road with a band for a long time and you're the only girl and you're in amongst, mm. you know, a, I know what a you mean there. With <laughs> 12 other guys. Who all stink, yep. usually, you know. I've been there, babe. I yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> and, and then, so that has elements of... You have the sort of motherhood thing there, just, you know, on one level. And But oh, mm. look, I, I'm really glad I waited to have a child. I was 31, uh, I think, when I had her. Mm -hmm. Or 30, yeah, something like that. And I'm really totally glad I waited because I wouldn't have been ready before that to mm -hmm. have a child. And I really... You know, you need the time to dedicate to your career if you want to have a career. Definitely. You know, and so I'm glad I waited, put it that way. And, and I'm glad I waited to find the right person to have a child with because if you have to do it on your own, that's a whole another thing. Another you know, thing altogether, too. yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got, I mean, you've got an ideal setup, really, because you, you've got the man you love with you producing your album. He's yeah. the father of your child. Yeah. <laughs> and I you, think he is. And you, oh, God, okay, we won't go there. <laughs> and we don't want to upset Nuno. <laughs> kinda, Where is he now? Is he overseas? The is. You said Nuno's overseas at the moment. Yeah, he's in Boston. He's okay, so he won't hear this interview. All right, no, tell no, us the dirt. No, What's the dirt? No, we'll sell the story to New Idea. Oh. <laughs> he didn't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Suze, um, we've heard a story that you're going to be uh, visiting us in the homegrown studio live in the next couple Ooh. of weeks. So, oh, uh, 
I'd love to. There's plenty more that we can talk about then and uh, maybe yeah, open up definitely. the phones for our listeners to uh, to have a chat with you. But uh, mm. thanks cool. for joining us tonight. Let's check out what is going to be the next single off Telly Love. Um, mm. We believe it's out in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. It's a song called Karma. And how, how about you introduce it for us, Suze? Oh, this is this is the second single off my new record, Telly Love, and it's a song called Karma, and uh, it's all about taking your karma with you where you go. It's Suze Demarkey on Triple M's Homegrown.